Welcome back to the 311 Griffin YouTube channel and to the A29B Super Tecano mod. Uh, I'd like to do a review of this mod now that I've had quite a few hours in it. I know there are a lot of reviews out there that have been done already, um, but this is, I'm intending this to be more of a specific review for feedback to the mod developers, uh, as well as to anybody out there that's kind of interested in this mod. Um, so my thesis for this review would be that this mod is definitely worth it. It is a very good mod and really there's nothing ultimately bad that I'm going to say about this mod. There are some, some, uh, things that I would like to see worked on, but, uh, I want to be very clear and point out that I believe the mod creators are already working on those. And most of the things that I'm going to say that are going to be negative, things about this mod um, are, are things that will be fixed as the mod gets developed. So this is a beta state mod, it's an early beta state mod, and the developers have said time and time again, I believe, that um, they released it in this early state so people could enjoy it, give their feedback, uh, and also to inspire other mod creators to do what they've done. So um, with that, we'll get right into it, and I do want to talk about uh, mostly what I'm going to be talking about are uh, going to be negative things, but like I said, those will be fixed, um, or they certainly can be fixed, and I think that some of them are being worked on right now. Um, the, the good news, I guess I'll just say the good stuff first. Uh, it's free. It's a fairly well done mod, even with the issues that I see or the uh, things that need to be cleaned up. Um, it still looks pretty good. Uh, with a few uh, caveats. Um, it does have ground attack weapons. Uh, it does have air-to-air -air weapons. It does have a clickable cockpit. It does have some implemented systems so that you can at least do the startup procedure, the shutdown procedure, taxi takeoff, set up waypoints, and do your attacks with uh, dumb weapons in CCIP. Like here we've got an MK-82 and some rockets and our guns, of course, and you can do air-to-air -air with the sidewinders and the guns. Uh, there are other weapons that are uh, options, but until some more systems get implemented, those aren't going to be very useful, I don't think. I've seen some pictures of people firing Hellfires from these, but uh, to my knowledge, Hellfires aren't even on a Super Tucano. I've not seen any documentation that suggests that the a29B can uh, can carry those, but I could be wrong. I haven't dug that deep into the, the system uh, to know that for sure. Um, but currently, I don't know how you would do that because there's no way to designate a target or laser target uh, with this mod. And um, I don't, I haven't found any way where you could even fire it um, at a target that somebody else is designating. So um, so with that being said, you know, those, some of those weapons should come online later, um, but they're not here yet. Uh, so, uh, it does have a clickable cockpit, like I said, um, and, and that's, I think, a really, you know, anytime you have a custom cockpit like this with, with buttons and switches that you can click, that's a really good thing. Um, I don't really like the mods so much that bought, that just steal from, a Flaming Cliffs 3 aircraft and, and put you in that cockpit. Uh, it's a good way to, to kind of get some eye candy into the game, so I don't necessarily mind it, but um, I'm never going to do a review, really, of something that doesn't have a custom clickable cockpit. Um, so this is somewhat like the Hercules mod that I really liked. It's got some 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 things that, uh, that you can do, that you can click switches and flip uh, push buttons and things to, to, to work the systems of the aircraft, and that's good. Uh, so let's talk about the quote-unquote bad stuff, and I think most of it's pretty obvious. There's some, you know, rough edges. Uh, these these look like really basic textures and meshes and things like that. They're, they're like lower poly count models. Uh, even on the exterior, you can see some things that are kind of low res i would say for lack of a better term and um and, and that's the first thing you're going to notice when you get this aircraft is the low res stuff um there's also you know this is technically part of the external model not the internal model but you know we can look at the pilots and the pilots look kind of weird their eyeballs <laughs> look kind of creepy um, that might be 
that's something that happens on all of the mods and modules, but I, you know, I don't know. I haven't noticed it on official mods, uh, modules anyway. So obviously there's some of that stuff. Um, personally, I would prefer to see more systems implemented before any of this stuff gets cleaned up with the exception of up here, you can see that there's some normal maps or some reflective maps or something that are that are not matching up and we've got some of these labels are too wide so they um so they kind of curl around the edge of the button and overlap a little bit also and i think this is a bug this four button should should be west when you're inputting lat long and it's east and the six is west so those need to be switched i'm pretty sure um, I think that it, that what you're seeing in this kind of shadow label is accurate, that that should be west and that should be east. So that's something that I'd like to see fixed um, that they're probably working on. Um, and again, I'd, I'd like to see this stuff fixed, but I don't necessarily need to see like really high res stuff for the cockpit. I'd pref Me personally, I'd prefer to see other systems implemented. So that's the kind of stuff that, that I'd like to see them work on. Um, another bug, uh, I think it's a bug, is that these switches are on and they should be off for the startup procedure. Um, so basically, whenever I come down here and flip this on, I flip these screens off earlier. They're they're on by default. That stuff should all be turned off, I believe, if you're starting cold and dark. Um, so you know, those are little buggy things like that. There's a few of the switches that. Um, uh, let's see, what was, I think one of them is this one. Yeah, it seems to operate backwards. You, like, uh, this is a right click, that's a left click. Now, if I come over here and I right click that, well, that's the same case. That's a right click, that's a left click. That's a right click, that's a left click. So, so basically, what I'm what I'm saying is that some of these are opposites, um, you know, and and it gets a little bit confusing. But but you can you can start things up, you know, and you can you can use the system as it is. The bugs are not really debilitating bugs. Uh, even up here, it's a little bit confusing, but they're not debilitating. So. Um, so anyway, th that's the uh, the major things that I would fix. And then after that, you know, after doing the bug fixes um, and then implementing more systems, then they could get to, you know, cleaning up some of these textures and um, and meshes and things like that. So that the so that the model's a little bit cleaner. One of the visual things, actually, there's two visual things that I would like to see cleaned up sooner rather than later. And I think that there's a lot of people in the community that would agree. Um, one is that propeller disc once it's rotating. And the other is I think there's a pink light that comes from that little triangle thing on the top of the fuselage in front of the canopy. And it's not right now, but I've seen that before and it reflects off the propeller and then you see it here in your HUD and it's really hard to see through that. Uh, so that's that's something I would those are two things that I'd like to see fixed sooner rather than later Now I'm gonna flip over to this. This is an AI aircraft. So that props not spinning at all. That's something that could be fixed uh, Then there's some some little bugs like uh, in the select jettison or in the um, I should say in the SMS page if you have a particular weapon selected and then you jettison it I've noticed that sometimes it sticks on that weapon and you have to cycle this button up here. I wonder if I can get that on the ground. I don't know that I can. Hey, there we go. So uh, I'm not gonna jettison anything, but if I go like this is, I have this rocket pod selected, it's boxed. If I go in here and I selective jettison that station and then go back to the weapon page, this will either be blank or that weapon will still be there. And I have to hit this button a whole bunch of times to get it over to, um, to this, you know, to whatever else I'm wanting to uh, to fire. Another thing I noticed is that, um, and these are little things, these are just little bugs, um, but if I just have one rocket pod set up and I go to pairs, 
it boxes this MK82, but uh, it still only fires one rocket, which is good. I would hate to uh, have that MK82 drop off because it's trying to fire rocket pairs. Um, so, so those are little bugs that I've noticed. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've noticed any other little stuff, but, um, uh, but yeah, like just little things like that. It'd be nice to get those fixed. So, uh, I was going to show some of the, um, the, the, uh, attack stuff, you know, doing a ground attack, doing a, uh, an air attack. But the truth is I've done those in other videos and, uh, it, I think it's enough for this review for people to know, um, that it does it, you know, it, it's possible. Um, those things are, uh, those things are set up so that so that you can do it and it works pretty well um, in fact you know I, th I think that those parts of it are actually quite realistic as far as I can tell um, oh there is one other thing I do want to talk about but I'm gonna have to reset the video a little bit okay uh, the next thing I do want to talk about is the flight model it is a simple flight model and that's okay but there are quirks associated with simple flight models and you'll see those here so uh, for one thing uh, simple flight models are sometimes kind of nice because they're usually easier to fly um, and this aircraft is no exception I, I suspect that if it ever got a, a um, external flight model built or a custom flight model that it would probably wind up being harder to fly in some ways um, so the first thing you probably noticed is whenever the wheels lifted up, the plane just shifted over ever so slightly to the left. Um, that's, I've heard that called riding the rails. So, you know, when the plane lifts up the game, the flight model tries to, you know, put it where it's supposed to be, I guess, or something like that. I don't know exactly what it's doing, but anyway, you'll see that on a lot of simple flight models where, um, the aircraft as soon as it gets off the ground it just shifts over ever so slightly uh, that's one way you can know if your wheels are off the ground <laughs> is by waiting for that shift so that's uh, that's an example of a simple flight model thing that you know would be nice to see get fixed um, the other thing I will show that you'll see a lot in simple flight models is if I get a really really high nose and I just bleed my speed down pull back on the stick I can just get it to lock in place pretty much and it will eventually come back down but then sometimes it will lock repeatedly it'll the nose will come down a little bit and then it will snap back up to an upright position and you're basically either falling backwards or you're scooting along um, at an impossible angle in the sky I'm going to try to get it to do it one more time and we'll look at it from an external view um, but that's something I noticed in, in every mod or module that has a simple flight model. Okay. And hopefully I can get this to do it. It's, it's pretty reliable. There we go. So eventually the nose does kind of come back down, but um, but you saw where the nose was coming down and I was kind of falling backwards, but then it snapped and the plane sort of jumped slightly back up and forward and, and the nose stayed high like that instead of falling down the way it should. Saying that if you are kind of new to DCS and you're not quite sure what you should buy as far as modules go, um, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't hesitate to install this mod. Um, now, I normally give people advice that you should just buy the aircraft that you want and then learn it no matter how, um, how difficult and complex it is because you will learn it. And if it's an aircraft that you really like, you, you'll be fine. Um, however, this aircraft operates a lot of the systems and the screens they're not exactly the same but uh, in a lot of ways they're similar to an f-16 uh, which is one of the reasons i really like it it's way simpler than an f-16 but it's similar so um so one thing you could do 
is get this mod and it's free and you could kind of tool around and you could practice CCIP uh, ground attack and you could practice uh, air to air engagements with a slower um, easier to learn aircraft and and then you could buy whatever you want later so so with that um, that'll do it and I hope it, that this was helpful and I hope that you enjoyed the video as always thanks for watching and happy flying